Good morning, children. Welcome back to the math session. Are you all ready with a book and pencil? Let's start. Before we begin the class, let us recall what we have learned in the previous class. Do you all remember? Yes. Observe the picture. Now, can you all recall what we have studied in the previous class? Right. Roman numerals. Yes. Roman numerals have seven symbols of English alphabets. They are I, V, X, L, C, D and M. For which i is equal to 1, v equals 5, x equals 10, l equals 50, c equals 100, d equals 500, m equals 1000 in Hindu Arabian numerals. The letters in the first row or the symbols in the first row are Roman numerals. Whereas the numbers in the second row are Hindu Arabian numerals. Now, where and all you have seen the Roman numerals? Right. And the wall clock and the wristwatch. Yes. And the special exercises and also on the name boards of the classrooms. Isn't it? Yes. To write the no Roman numerals for different numbers, we have certain rules. We need to follow these rules for different numbers in different combinations. Clear? Yes. With this, we shall begin our today's lesson. Are you all ready? Yes. Let's begin. Let me ask you one question before we begin the class. And here is the question for you. There are 20,500 students in University A and 20,200 students in University B. Now my question is, how can we find the total number of students in both University A and University B? Yes, think and tell me the answer. Right. We need to add the number of students in both the universities, right? So when we add, what do we get? We get 40,700 students. Yes, by now you may be guessing what would be our today's lesson, right? Your guess is right. In today's lesson, we are going to learn adding of large numbers. And the important word for today's learning is addition and plus symbol. Plus symbol is very important. Yes, let's begin with an activity. I have a crossword puzzle for you, which consists of four different questions. Question A, question B, question C and question D. Yes, we need to solve four different questions to complete the puzzle. So, shall we do it? Right, we shall solve it one by one. Now, question A. All of you, take out your notebook and then note down question A. Yes, solve this by using column method. How do we solve using column method? Right. First, we need to arrange them in columns. Right. We have to arrange the numbers according to their places. Clear? Yes. Now, we need to add. How do we add? Right. We have to add from 
one's place and next moving towards the next higher values clear let's begin to add yes one plus six is seven four plus two is six two plus seven is nine four plus two is six and three plus one is four and what is the answer right it is for six thousand nine hundred sixty seven did you all get it check your answers now we'll move on to the next question that is question b note on the question in your book and then solve it so what do we do first we need to arrange them in column right yes arrange the numbers arrange the numbers according to their places is it clear now we'll begin to add add from the ones place right 3 plus 5 is 8 4 plus 1 is 5 0 plus 9 is 9 8 plus 0 is 8 2 plus 2 is 4 5 plus 2 is 7 and the answer is 7 lakh 48958 did you all get the answer check your answers right now we'll move on to the next question that is question c yes note on the question in your book and arrange them column wise and then add right how do we arrange like this we need to arrange according to their places clear now we'll begin to add let's add from the ones place 3 plus 7 is 10 i get 10 can we write 10 here no we cannot why we cannot write two digits in one place therefore we need to regroup 10 7 plus 3 equals 10 which is two digit number and therefore we have to regroup this as 1 10 and 0 once and next we need to carry this 1 10 to the tens place and 0 to the ones place yes now we write 0 in ones place and carry 1 in tens place clear now we need to add the numbers in tens place how do we add 1 plus 8 plus 1 is equal to 10 tens again we get 10 tens so can we write 10 here no therefore we need to regroup them how do we regroup yes 8 tens plus 1 10 plus 1 10 is equal to 10 tens which is equal to 100 which should be regrouped as 100 plus 0 tens and therefore we carry this 100 to hundreds place and 0 to tens place clear yes let us write 0 in tens place and carry 1 to hundreds place clear now we are going to add the numbers in hundreds place 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 5 is 8 yes now i can write 8 next add the numbers in thousands place 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 next we'll move on to the ten thousands place add the numbers in 10,000 place 1 plus 4 which is equal to 5 
And what is the answer? It is 52,800. Did you all get this answer? Right. Now we'll move on to next question. Question D. Note on the question in your book and arrange them and then add. Yes, here is my arrangement. I have arranged again according to their places. Right. Now we'll begin to add. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 0 is 2. 3 plus 1 is 4. 2 plus 3 is 5. 2 plus 9 is 11. Can we write 11? No. We need to regroup them. 2 10,000 plus 9 10,000 is equal to 11 10,000, which is equal to 10 10,000 plus 1 10,000. Now, we need to carry 10 10,000, which is equal to 1 lakh, like this. 1 in 10,000 place and 1 in lakhs place. Now, we are going to add the numbers in lakhs place. 1 plus 4 plus 1, which is equal to 6. And the answer is 6 lakhs 15,423. Clear? Yes. Now, we need to add these numbers in the grid given. Yes. Now, my crossword is complete. Clear? Yes. Now, let's discuss what we have learned in today's class. Yes. How do we add numbers without and with regrouping by using the column method? How did we add? Yes. First, we arrange the numbers according to their places. That is, ones below ones, tens below tens, hundred below hundreds and so on. Next, we started adding from the ones place moving towards the highest place. And then, if the sum of two digits is 10 or more, then we regrouped 10 and added one to the next higher places. Clear? Yes. Now, put on your thinking caps and answer to my question. Here is my question. How can we find the missing digits? Yes. Can you see the sum? You can find some missing digits. How can we find this missing digits when the answer is given? Think. Right. We can use either addition facts or subtraction facts to find the missing digits. So, shall we begin? Okay. Now, 7 plus which number, which addition fact give us 9? Yes. 7 plus 2 gives us 9. Correct. Now, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5, which is already there. Now, 3 plus which number gives us 7? Yes, 3 plus 4 gives us 7. Correct? Next, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. And the next number... 5 plus which number gives us 6? Right. 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. And the answer is 61,759. Did you all get the answer? Check the answer once again. Right? Yes. Now, we'll move on to the Worksheet. 
stick out your workbook, page number seven, and solve the worksheet given. The first question is add using the column method. In the first question, we have already arranged the numbers. You need to add from one's place. Clear? And the next question, that is question two, add using the column method. For this, first we need to arrange the numbers and then we should add. And question three, find the missing digits. Yes, here a different problem is given for which you need to find the missing digits. Clear? I believe you will all complete your worksheets and also the homework. Now let's move on to our homework. Note down in your book. Yes, solve block two, lesson one, question number one, two, three, practice questions of the content book. Children, hope you all have learned how to add the large numbers using the column method. Practice more questions to become more thorough. Clear? Thank you children. Meet you in the next class. Have a nice day.